Madison Underground. I'm Alicia, and I'm very excited to be joined with Mike Odd, general manager of Mike's of Max Sabbath. General manager, I like that. <laughs> oh, just a manager. Sorry, I just did another interview where I said general manager. No, I like that. That makes sense. It is sort of a you know rock and roll yeah. franchise. Yeah. yeah. Well, Max Sabbath <laughs> is a leading band in drive-through metal, which is pretty rad. Absolutely, so. absolutely. They are the creators of the genre of drive-through metal. And the best. Ronald will let you know it <laughs> repeatedly. So, how did you become involved with the band? Uh, I got an anonymous phone call back in LA uh, to meet this entity at a, at a burger chain in Chatsworth, California. Nice. And I uh, went down there because I'm, you know, curious about strange things and strange things happening to me. And uh, when I got there, I sat down in this booth and was soon joined by this ghoulish clown that had like thick, dripping pancake makeup and long red and yellow tassels scraping the, all dirty, scraping the floor. Mm -hmm. And he just kind of enveloped this booth and just told me that my destiny was to like manage this thing that he had and that was, and I just thought this was the funniest thing that ever happened to me. I'm going to get the hell out of here and going to put it all behind me. And now my whole life has changed and I'm on the road with this this uh, crazy bunch of anonymous characters. So are you glad you followed your destiny? Uh, I love it as much as I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> but that's kind of how, you know, life is interesting when it's a roller coaster, you know. So I, I'm embracing the ups and the downs. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so I heard that they transported from the 70s, right? That's what Ronald has informed me, that they traveled in a time-space continuum from, from the 70s. And uh, Ronald, uh, he's very uh, confused and scared of anything technological. I bet. I so don't... that's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can't, like, talk about phones or pull out phones. I've seen, uh, he will freak out and they will get dipped in a large orange beverage and that'll be it. So sort of my job to keep the public at bay from mm -hmm. the crazed clown and the Monsanto mutants, yeah. as it were. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so why do they transport now? What message have they come to tell us? Um, it seems to be a warning about the current state of sustenance yeah. of food. Yeah. Yeah. And government control of food and, and you know, the current state of us all being, uh, poisoned and enslaved is what oh. it kind of seems like when you pick apart the lyrics. It's a very important message. I hope yeah. we all get it, you know? Yeah, I'm <laughs> trying to get it myself. <laughs> okay, so tell me something special. I know you can't like, do you have a direct comments, but like give me something defining characteristics of each member like on stage. Spe you want special sauce? Yeah, I want special sauce. Special sauce. Well, um, the, uh, uh, let's see, the cat burglar, uh, you know, he had a bit of a, a kleptomania problem, obviously, but mm -hmm. he's on parole and we seem to have that under wraps. Okay. And so I think he's doing a lot better. Uh, uh, Grimalis, you know, if you look at Grimalis, I mean, you can tell he's giant, giant. He has a bit of an eating disorder, but we, we can manage to fit him in the van now. He used to have to jog alongside. Yeah. So, so now he's trimmed up a little bit. We can fit him in the van, so things are getting better there. And the guitar player, uh, Slayer McCheese, mm -hmm. I don't, he's a guitar player, so what can I say? He's got a great big head, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I've heard that Ronald Osborne has some beef with some Burger King Diamond guy. What's... What's the situation like with them two? Burger King Diamond is like his nemesis that he goes on and on about, like some crazed Batman villain sort of <laughs> battle and it's like a love hate. Thing. Yeah, yeah, and and I and you know I always just thought, oh, you know, it's crazy Ronald, whatever. I look it up and I can't find him anywhere. Then he last tour he popped up twice. He popped up at two different shows. He popped up in, um, oh man, I can't even remember the cities now. He popped up in two different cities. <laughs> so now it was this he thing. Exists. Yeah, yeah, he exists. And now he go rants on and on about how the security, like, you know, said that they 
they didn't know that he got in and he's convinced that there's a conspiracy yeah. against him and he's like this he always says oh the security guards they're telling me they're telling me a whopper <laughs> okay so yeah. for our last question <laughs> so you can go set up for the very interesting show yeah what's it like on the van what's that what's it like on the van like traveling with the whole gang complicated complicated yeah <laughs> <laughs> Yep, that's right. there's your one word. That's my one word. Well, I like it. It's very definitive. Okay. Well, Gotta keep this mysterious because you guys just don't want to know. You don't want to know? Okay, <laughs> well, we'll leave it to complicated. Well, we thank you for being here with us. Thank you. And we thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos.